I am deeply humbled and honored to stand in front of you today sharing my learnings and experiences for the last 11 months studying and living in Australia. Just like you, my fellow awardees of the Australia Awards, we have embarked a new chapter of our lives. Leaving the comforts of our home and saying goodbyes to our family and friends and relatives to accept this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to study in some of the best universities in this part of the world, to effect positive change in our home countries and get the chance to know more about Australia up close and personal from its beautiful sceneries and experience the friendliness and warm hospitality of its people, simply known as the Aussies. Arriving in Australia last January, together with other Filipino scholars, signals the start of what I call my great Australian adventure. Considering that my program is only good for one year, my plan really is to make most of my stay here in Australia, learn as much as I can from my course, and find time to experience and enjoy the unique Australian culture. I have to say that the educational system here is very different from my home country. For one, Universities here are diverse in, in terms of student demographics. One would get to meet people from all corners of the world, and in the process, we get to learn and appreciate the unique culture and tradition of every individual. Because of this, I can truly say that Australia is a multicultural society. Secondly, the opportunities to learn are endless. One has access to a rich database of academic journals, world-class facilities, and learn from some of the most respected academicians in the world. No wonder why this country is considered as the third most popular international student destination and eighth in the world in terms of the university system rankings. And seven of the top 100 universities are found here in Australia. One of them, of course, here is here in Queensland, the University of Queensland. And of course, we have Griffith as well, and Queensland University. <laughs> okay, studying here can mean several things. Spending sleepless nights, reading academic journals and other references, writing essays tirelessly, and at times getting paranoid at the percentage of similarities one can get in turn it in or save aside, and planning and preparing for group presentations. I think everybody could relate to that. Just in case you get panicked, or when you think you cannot do your assignments right, remember what your friends, classmates, or even conveners have told you. Don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> you out, how are you going to be fine with all those pressures coming up? Writing an essay or preparing group presentations can be full of challenges sometimes. Do you agree? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Hence, it has been a habit for me to celebrate any group presentations that I completed, assessments that I have submitted, or even two surviving two final exams in one day this semester. Looking back, I still cannot imagine how I overcome all these challenges. But I guess having faith, determination, determination, commitment, and focus are those things make, which I thought impossible became possible. Yeah. Living in Australia has provided me an opportunity to explore and get to know this country better. As an international student, there are so many activities that will allow all of us to explore this beautiful country. It is through these activities that I get to know Australia and its people up close and personal. Even in my regular walks in South Bank or in the Central Business District here in Brisbane, I could feel the friendliness and hospitality of Australians. Having difficulty taking a selfie in the South Bank? No problem. A person will always approach you and ask if you like them to take a picture of you. So no need for a selfie. Just ask someone. Living in Australia has also given me a chance to know Filipinos who have made Australia as their home. In fact, it is in Australia where I meet one of my classmates in elementary and other high school classmates after 20 long years. It was a memorable reunion and truly one for the books. Studying in Australia also gave me the opportunity to share the rich culture and heritage of my country. I and my other Filipino scholars became ambassadors and ambassadors of goodwill who would be proudly tell our newfound friends and acquaintances of how beautiful our country is and that they should take time to explore the beautiful sceneries and experience the warm of hospitality of the Filipinos, which are known for. I would never forget when one of my classmates decided to spend her semester break, semester break last July in the Philippines. Upon her return to Australia, she told us how she enjoyed her stay 
And what makes her visit special is the warm hospitality and smile of my countrymen, the Filipinos. In short, nakakataba ng puso, which simply means heartwarming, and I feel proud of being a Filipino here in Australia. Another classmate of mine is set to travel to the Philippines in the next couple of weeks to explore the many islands of my country before returning home to her home country, Norway. So let me pitch in. For those who would court planning for the next vacation or want to have some fun of adventure, all I can say is, it's more fun in the Philippines. <laughs> The Australian government, through the Australia Awards, recognizes that education develops skills and knowledge, builds enduring people, country and professional links, and has the power to influence positive change. The awards strive to develop leadership potential and stimulate lasting change by empowering a global network of talented individuals through high quality education experiences in Australia and overseas. In short, this scholarship program expects us scholars to return to our home countries bringing new ideas, knowledge, and fresh perspectives that will help us formulate and implement programs and activities that will drive and re-energize development initiatives in our home countries. For Filipino scholars like me, we are expected to implement our re-entry action plan, or what we call in the Philippines as RIP, in our organizations upon our return to the Philippines. The RIP is an innovative feature of the Australia Awards in the Philippines, it enables us to apply the knowledge gained in Australia to spearhead positive change in our workplace and in our community. Among the successful reefs that I'd like to share was implemented by the 2013 scholar, Dino Ponceran of the Department of Interior and Local Government. He assisted local government units upon his return to the Philippines, crafting investment and incentive codes which help create business-friendly environment for local and foreign investors. Another initiative comes from my fellow Australia Awards Leadership Program awardees from the state of Victoria. And one of them actually happens to be the girl with the red dress, Chini Matara. <laughs> Chini, together with other scholars studying in the state of Victoria, form a group called the Pushpin Movement, which is a social enterprise that connects the world's volunteers to local projects and communities in the Philippines. Wow. In fact, they were one of the select group of scholars who recently returned um, this year, last July, to be given the Alumni Grant Scheme, where they're given um, funding and resources to implement these innovative um, projects that they have. I'm pretty sure the scholars from other countries have also similar initiatives like the RIP that would provide a venue to share ideas and make a positive impact to their communities. As a civil servant of the Philippine government who advocates for the improvement of frontline service delivery of government agencies, the knowledge, skills, and abilities that I acquired here will definitely help me plan and implement my REAP effectively. Because I do believe that every Filipino, regardless of your social and economic class, deserves to be given the best quality service by the employees and officials of the Philippine government. It is through this journey where I get to know more about myself, learn from my strengths and weaknesses, and discover what I'm capable of, and realize that I still have a lot of things to learn. It is through this journey where I get to empty my cup, allow myself to learn new ideas, experience new things, and get to meet amazing people who I will treasure the friendship for the rest of my life. Australia Awards is not just about getting the best education, it is about widening one's horizon and perspectives in life. Remember, learning is not confined in the four walls of the lecture theater. Learning can be acquired by meeting people and engaging in conversations, be it at attending your classes, attending a conference, or even just meeting random people in the university, bar, streets, or even in the coffee shop. In summary, I can truly say that Australia Awards gave me the best of both worlds the opportunity to, to learn and earn a master's degree from one of the top universities in the world and the chance to explore and experience the best that this country has to offer. Everyone would agree that our great Australian journey or adventure has brought up the best in us. In behalf of all the awardees from Queensland, let me take this opportunity to thank the Australian government for giving, this, for giving me and the rest this once in a lifetime opportunity to be part of the Australia Awards program. Let me also thank the officials and members of the faculty and as well as the employees of all universities who welcome us with open arms and provides us with all kinds of assistance 
to make sure that our experience will be a memorable one. For those who will be finishing their programs this semester just like me, the next few weeks will be all about celebrations. From graduation ceremonies to farewell parties and dinners, or even just reminiscing the memories and friendships that we established during our stay in Australia. For sure, we will all miss this country once we leave. But goodbye is not the right term. I guess the right word would be, with Australian accent, see you later. <laughs> As the world gets smaller and smaller, one day our lives will cross once again. So to everyone here today, take time to get to know all the awardees, because for all you know, you share the same vision, passion, and desire to bring about positive change. For those who will be staying for a semester or two, take time to explore Australia, particularly Queensland. This place has so much to offer for those who want to have a relaxed atmosphere, or even for those who want to have a little bit of adventure. Make the most out of your stay here. That's the biggest piece of advice I can give you. Study hard, but don't forget to have fun. As my great Australian journey comes to an end, I will treasure the memories, friendship, and learnings that I have acquired for a short period of time. Looking back, overcoming all the hardships, struggles, and challenges beginning from the screening and selection process in our home countries, up to living and studying here is all worth it. This journey gave me a sense of hope and purpose and strengthened my commitment and passion to serve my, my countrymen in the Philippines. Once again, thank you very much, Australia, and to all awardees of Australia Awards Program, as we say it in the Philippines, Mabuhay mo tayong lahat, at magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.